bipartisan budget agreement that we struck last month. And if I am to sign these bills before Christmas, then there is some tough bargaining ahead and a lot of extraneous matters to be cleared up. I've never had to use a veto pen on Christmas Eve before, but and also maybe I've never gotten a C honor just before Christmas. That'll be the biggest spending bill you've ever sent down to you. So let's make it as clean as a bill as possible and one that's taken with the other bill will implement our budget agreement down the line. And uh, I know there's, where's Jim Baker? He's the Baker's right oh, there. you are. You were sitting right behind him. Uh, Jim, you've been following closely the reconciliation bill. How do things look at this stage? Well, Mr. President, first of all, I, I would like to say that uh, I think we had. Uh,
chest. I said, Tommy, the press wall is shot with yeah, myself here. As he went out, I said, you know, if I were president, we'd get back in. <laughs> Disagreement. I thought you said it was all resolved, sir. It is. We're going forward with SDI. Well, did you deliberately fuzzy it up? There was no. There was there was no agreement. This was a simple thing of they took their position, we took ours, and it's put that way in the uh, communicate, the joint communicate that we are going forward. Well, it means well, you yeah. agreed to disagree. Uh -huh. Well, what, do you think that can still get in the way of the start agreement, though? That's the bottom line. Nope. All right, Thank you. Are you going to write him a letter? <laughs> or a telephone? Yeah. How about all this Nicaragua stuff? What do you have to say to Gorbachev on Nicaragua? Uh, I think that these are, this is a subject we're going to be discussing for quite some time. All I know is that he told me he wanted to go forward with the peace plan and that they would withhold aid from the Sandinista government in order to do so. No mix? Mm -hmm. You don't think he's going to send mix? He promised to withhold all aid to the Sandinistas? But all the military aid. He did specify that there, that there were, might be some uh, small arms fire, uh, uh, firearms of the type of thing for police uh, use. And that was, uh, that was the extent of our discussion. Any condition for that? Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you all. Thank you. 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 How many presidential candidates are at this table? <laughs> Too many. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can be sure there's one who isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Who's down there? Eddie. Presser. Presser's in the yard. He's on his way back. He's lost, but maybe he's just coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> no. no it's that's one fine. of ours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you all for coming down this morning. Bob has told me about the formation of this group, and I'm pleased that you're getting organized early. The Senate's duty under the Constitution is one point on which I know we can all agree. And there will surely be other points in the forthcoming debate in which some disagreement will emerge, but I hope this group can serve to air the facts, define the key issues, and get to the heart of the matter. One of our leadership meetings earlier this year, I told you that I would not sign my sign an arms control agreement unless it was clearly in our national interest. And I believe the INF Treaty is clearly in our national interest. Our negotiators have produced a good package, and the concessions they obtained from the Soviets simply would not have materialized without the strides we've taken these last seven years in rebuilding our military forces. In that effort, each of you played an essential role, and I remember many a close bullet in the Senate along the way. So, Bob, before we start our discussion, I just wanted to say that I'm very mindful of the fact that what we've achieved with the INF Treaty was a team effort, and you and your colleagues are the ones who've held the line at the front, and that's what gave us the foundation of strength and wherewithal to get this agreement. So why don't you start off? Mr. President, first, thank you very much for getting us, uh, inviting us to come down. Uh, I think in nearly every case, this group has sort of been uh, the mainstay in whether it was the AP. Right 
Pleased to see you. Okay, I'm Cork from Florida. Well, nice to well, see you. We didn't give you exactly good weather here. But... <laughs> you that cap on the Hello. Nice to see you. McCune in the great state of California. Well, welcome. Thank you. 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 Well, Mr. President, it's a distinct privilege to be here once again in this room where you, as the leader of the free world, met just about one week ago to promote peace. One week later, we represent the great spiritual leader of the day, Rabbi Schneer Sun, bringing you the message of support in your great endeavors and efforts on behalf of freedom. You have chosen the menorah in mentioning it twice as a symbol of freedom. Unfortunately, too many people speak of freedom of religion. And when they speak of freedom of religion, they refer to freedom from religion rather than freedom of religion. Hanukkah spells the victory of spirituality over the secularization of society as was represented by the Hellenists. It gives us a special privilege and pleasure and honor to be able to present you with this symbol which represents the introduction of light and what it represents for the importance of peace here and throughout the world. Well, I thank you, and I'm greatly honored, and I each year look forward to your coming here at time to time. At this time, I'd also like to present to you a publication which depicts the activities of Hanukkah in 200 centers here in the United States and throughout the world. And this is the letter which the President was sent last year. This is the manure right here outside the White House. And this depicts the activities. The President set the tone, showed the way for other leaders to sign the, the uh, International School of Honor, which promotes the idea of returning to the observance of tradition and the seven no white laws. Many heads of state have followed it. This letter represents a request which we would appreciate, Mr. President, if you would give it to you to your attention. Many happy returns. Well, I'm very pleased. I'm pleased to have this, and I hope it for you. And uh, as I say, I'm always happy every year to receive you here. And uh, as I understand a little later, that menorah will be lighted down on the ellipse. Just what time is that going to take place? About quarter to five. All right. <laughs> oh, it's okay. This is this is specially put in so that it serves to light the others. Ah. And you, in your position, have served this have served a similar function in showing the way for other leaders of the world to follow. Well, I know that. I know how happy it is for all of you to be able to worship your religion here, and I spoke a great deal about that to my recent visitor, the General Secretary, about the difference and how our Constitution makes it possible for all to practice their religion and live in a country together. And uh, I hope you'll be doing some thinking about what I told him and about the differences that exist between our two countries. And perhaps translate this thinking into doing. That, yes. As a matter of fact, that's what I have in mind. And uh, rather than we, as you know, we have been uh, repeatedly seeking the exit from there of people who have, we know by name and who have been trying to, to leave. But I was trying to point out to him that there was a much larger task, and that was to see that they could live and practice their religion in this country. Excellent. I don't know whether I was successful or not, but... I'm sure you will be, and God will be with you. Well, I'm just so 
so pleased to have you all here and so and so honored again. And the wishes of the Rebbe brought through us shall accompany you throughout during the, your fulfillment of this important task. And may you be blessed with good health and the First Lady enjoy the best of life. Well, thank you. I think I understand the importance of Hanukkah and all of you, and I wish you well and all happiness. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for us. Show me well that they have what success to bring peace and prosperity to this country and all over the world. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mrs. Reagan as well. You should have lots of success in all your good endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hanukkah is a joyous hashtag. Wow, yes. have a lot of joy in your life. Long life. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Continue to good health. Thank you. For Thank you very much. God bless you, Mr. President. Thank you.